Um, so as you can see, I continue to um, work on sort of the metallic parts of um, this little still image, this detail of my trompe drawing. And um, I feel like I've kind of, I probably could, you know, um, refine um, those metal colors, uh, the metallic color on the dog tag a little bit, but um, I'm mostly happy with it. And I'm going to move on to the brass. So when I look at that brass, um, that brass um, punched um, object, I, I mainly see, well, I actually worked this out over here. Um, so I started again with the compliments. I started with um, orange and then I layered blue over it. And I felt like that was a good kind of warm neutral. It was closer to what was happening in the brass. Um, and then what really cinched it was, I felt like if I went over that and burnished it with um, the yellow, I got um, I got sort of a color combo that was close to what I wanted. So, because um, when I look at the brass, you know, it's a little tarnished. It's got like a greenish cast to it. So there's kind of a lot going on inside that color. So what I'm going to start to do is just with my my orange, I'm going to lay that value in. I'm sorry, that's that's sort of my base color, right? And then I, I'll build off of that. Um, when I look at that brass um, punch circle, whatever tag. Um, I see a lot of modeling, um, like it's not a consistent color. It's tarnished, it's weathered, it's got this sort of, um, yeah, it shows that it's a, some, an object that's been handled and has had a life. So, and I think, um, so the darkest parts, so the greenish tarnished parts, are probably going to be mainly expressed by the blue. So um, I'm going to go very lightly because I don't want it to be too blue. And I'm, I'm going to use this too to like sort of heighten the effect of the, the highlight on the edge of the object. So you can see like this is a really good example of how the, um, the combination of two complements, in this case orange and blue, neutralize one another. But the effect is still elusive, right? Because we're just working with these two neutrals. And, you know, as I, f I discovered in my test, I think the, um, the addition of the, of the burnishing with the yellow is really, you know, sort of ties this together. Creates that sort of rich color. It even generates a little bit of greenish cast. Is the yellow combines with the blue. Coming back to the blue to dark net. Need a little more orange to neutralize that. So I'm just like pushing that value.
I feel like it needs to be darkened, so. So a lot of, the, uh, of this is about creating sensitivity to the kind of um, neutrals you can generate with this limited palette that we're working with. I like the burnish yellow really lends the effect of that sort of patina brass in the object. So I'm burnishing over the top of the, the layer yellow. So one thing I neglected is sort of the values. And so I do like to save my, um, I use this blue indigo. You know that I'm, I'm reticent to use black in those all occasions. <laughs> 